y'all, Sarah Luhu here, and today we're back again with Nightcry. So, let's see, what happened last time? We discovered a creepy cult with masks and stuff, and we fended off some weird spirits that came out of mannequins by breaking a mirror, and all these other strange and weird things, but now we have a mask, and we still have our non-slip gloves, so now we can blend in with the creepy cultist people outside. They're out at this bonfire thing, it's... Kind of looks like they're roasting some- oh, that's dark. Super dark. Alright. So yeah, they're out of this creepy bonfire thing. And- whoa. Leonard, no. I need you to go out this way. Yeah, out there. Back to where the creepy bonfire is, where they're roasting people alive. Or at least that's what it looks like. There's some body-shaped sacks that are being dangled over the fire that are twitching quite profusely. Alright, let's just get our mask on. Yeah, see? Those are the bodies. So that was light we could see from the boat, yeah, yeah. A crowd of people wearing those masks, yes, we already went through all this. Can't stay out of their sight too much longer, except when we're wearing one of their masks! I mean, there's also probably the problem of us wearing this nice Maybe suit. They won't it's me from a distance. And the white hair. And all that stuff. Don't mind me, young cultist, I'm like you! Um... I don't know if we want to go over... You're still twitching?! How the hell are you people still alive? Alright, yes, don't mind me. Just an old man where the rest of you are young, fit people. Okay. Can we go over? No? Damn. Alright, come on, Leonard. Let's just... How the hell do we sneak around this? Shoot, was I supposed to go by the people with the fire? Don't mind me, young people. We're just, uh, just like you. Enjoying the bonfire and running around in circles. Don't, don't mind us now. Really? You're still twitching? I think you should be dead by now, sir. <laughs> Good lord. Ah, don't, don't look at us. We're just like you, except with white hair and a suit. And a slightly older build. Oh, okay. I thought, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> All right, is this your main house, your headquarters? Let's get in there. Leonard, what the fuck, man? Don't take off your hat. You're going into the cutting headquarters, really? Oh, yes, that is our smartest idea to date. Okay, what we got here? Got a phone there, but what's this? A stool has been left on its side. I can't help but want to organize things when I see an untidy mess like this. Do, do you want to put it back up, Leonard? I guess not. Um, alright, so... I... Okay, so they've been eating something, but they rushed out, as evidenced by the knocked over stool. Alright, let's see what they were eating. If we can tell. Dishes left on the, pap on the table as if people just finished eating. From the sauce left on the dishes, not much time has passed since the meal. Yeah, they had to have rushed out. Okay, whose phone is this? We demand answers, and this phone will hopefully give us some. Will Anderson, huh? Let's dig into that some more. Anybody you know? A name, most likely the owner, is this displayed on the unlock screen. Will Anderson. If I had the ship manifest, I could determine who it was. I'll add his information to the contact list in the smartphone and make him an Andy. We're just going to assume that Will is a cultist, huh? In which case, yeah, great. Let's have all the contact info for your... Is that where we came in? Hmm. I don't know. Let's look around a bit real quick before we go exploring anything else. What's in this corner? It looks pretty... What is this? Pretty crowded over. Phone charger! Okay, let's get to saving that. Cause golly, we do need to save at every little moment. D did you save? That didn't look like saving. That looked like exiting out of a cutscene, dude. I and you should recharge my phone. Yeah, there we go. That's some proper saving power. Oh, very, very good. Alright, let's go explore that door now that we've saved. See, it's always a good thing to check for save points, because who knows what lies out here? Or behind there. Oh! 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 No, no, close it, close it, close it. 
I'll have to get past them somehow. Uh, we'll figure out another way. Just not with that. Holy crap. That was close. Although we did see the light shining by. Anything over? Door! Very good. We have another door. Like, we saw the light shining from behind the cabin and stuff before. It's just... Ooh, it's in here. Um... Dishes? Okay, but can we... I guess we can't click on anything else. What was this? A rope. I may have to go Indiana Jones on someone, so I'm going to hang on to this. Oh, good for you, Leonard. Gonna go old-fashioned and whip somebody's ass with the rope. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, he is not a young man anymore. Take him a while to get up that ladder. Uh, then again, I don't know. But we've taken Monica any shorter amount of time. Ooh, this looks- <gasps> I know that sound. Is that what I think that is? It's someone sterilizing their false eye. Vigo, you fucking asshole. Okay, whoever it is must be the owner of this place. I bet they're holding the keys, whatever. I've got to let the students wing back on the ship. No, this is soon as possible. I take it he thinks that they're the ones behind it all. All right, um, quickly, we have to post something. Uh, dear students, it's possible a person with an artificial eye is involved in this. Be cautious if you find such a person on the ship. And especially Monica, because golly, I was, I knew that guy couldn't be trusted. There's something off about him breaking that fourth wall and all that. This is the Hermetica. There must be volumes or than even the largest anthologies. If these are copies of the original Hermetica, no, that's not possible. They were probably conned into buying a fake. What the hell is a Hermetica? I have no idea. Is it some kind of occult book? Okay, yeah, yeah that's the same words. Um, got something up here. Eliphas, Lovey, Agrippa's, the three books of occult philosophy. And I can't post something. Uh, the rest are mostly Russian. Unfortunately, Russian is Greek to me. I can't even understand the tiles. I didn't get to finish that last part. Oh, okay. This is, yeah, someone wrote this by hand. Though I can't make out the smudge portions. Um, the repet of great sacrifice and pursuit over the last 20 years, overcoming the fear of death, all the creation of adherence. The disassociation with the world comes by way of something. Hmm. Here, this is a diary of a madman or some sort of poem. Trying to make heads or tails of this is just a waste of time. I bet it is. But, okay, so we have a bunch of occult books over here, because Hermetica kind of like sounds like Necronomicon-y to me. Does anybody know what Hermetica is? Because I have no idea. What's this? Is it a fetus? It looks like a fetus in a jar. Or something else. Deformed frogs and other animals as well as a fetus-like whatever. We got Wolfie. No, it's a, it's a wolf, dude. Some of the fur has fallen off, showing that it's probably not being properly maintained. By freaking eyeball over here. Okay then, so... Wanna go out... and see... Where are we looking at? Wanna look at the bonfire? Yeah, it's a long drop, buddy. But we do have a- oh, yeah, you. Hello! Oh, you don't see us? Well, that's good. Uh, if there were no guards here, I could get down this way. You know what we could do, Leonard? Seeing as we have a phone, we could just probably, oh, I don't know, call a certain phone, alert a certain guard, use a certain rope to scurry down the side of this house thing. Cabin. Cabin in the woods. I wonder if they have monsters in their basement. That's not a spoiler, I don't think. <laughs> Goodbye! Alright, let's get our asses out of here. Um, we need our rope and our window. Can't use that here. Um, well, we do have two pillars. Let's see if we can tie it to the pillars, because I'm pretty sure that's why we have the freaking rope. And it's not to whip somebody's ass. Okay, I could tie the rope here and make my way down from the window. Indeed you could, but first I want to take another look around here. For what? Did we miss something? Oh, we did miss something. What's this? Well, I recall a British collector showing me this in the past. He was... Uh, okay. If memory serves, it's called the Hand of Glory, a magical item of corpse west that can repel evil. Putting aside whether it truly holds magical power, it's quite interesting, a subject of research nonetheless. Okay! Was that... Was that what we were missing? 
The music's getting quite anxious. Okay, that was what we were missing, apparently. So, hand of glory and some rope. Let's get our butts out of here, Leonard. You okay? Seem to be having some trouble there, Leonard. You could just slide down it, Leonard. You don't need to climb. Leonard? Uh-oh. Don't fall, buddy. Don't fall, buddy. Don't, don't. Just slide, man. Just slide. Take your knees, put them around the rope, and... Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, you okay, buddy? I need to lose some weight. Or learn how to slide down ropes. Just saying. I should probably put... Nah. Probably wouldn't have mattered. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we're going over here, right? Hmm. It seems to be a post from Jessica. Some strange people came off after me on a deserted island. They pushed me down a well. Someone help. I was wondering what happened to her or whatever. Uh, if she's at the bottom of the well, I must hurry and rescue her. Wait a moment. That doesn't seem... Jessica Lopez. Some... That seems a little off because when we were doing our save screen, like loading our save data, um, we had a missed path option where we could have found Jessica using Monica back on the boat. So, how the hell? I don't think Monica's on the island yet. Or if she's even going to be on the island in the future. How the hell could we have found Jessica on the boat if she's apparently stuck down a well? And how the hell is she getting internet access if... Mmm, something about this don't seem right. <laughs> Alright, we gotta try our best, though. If she's at the bottom of this well, I must hurry and rescue her. Think heroic thoughts, Leonard, but be on your guard. This doesn't seem very smart an idea. I do not trust any of this. Huh? Oh shit, I should have used the gloves. Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? Oh no. Was that water? Oh shit. Oh shit, we have screwed him over. Dear me. I really must Oh have shit! Run, Leonard, run! Oh god, wait, there were bars behind him, weren't there? Oh, he is fucked. <sighs> Leonard? Yep, so fucked. <laughs> Damn. Shoot! Well, I guess we just kind of have to go on and... Wait, what? And now, the latest news on the ship that went missing. The Oceanus had been sailing off course for almost a week. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. discovered today near the Caribbean Isles. The investigation team found no crew members and no passengers. It's just like got an ending. We Shit. Are told they seem to have vanished. Searches of the ship's interior have not revealed any clues of how this incident occurred. It could be said to be the greatest mystery of the 21st century. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I accidentally got an ending. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid, because I got the little steam alert telling me that I hit an accident. It's like those who have seen the end or something is what's said, but oh my god. Really? Damn, alright. Well, I'm just going to have to load it back up and see what I did wrong. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we're back. So we accidentally got, like, a, um, an apparent early on ending. That was very weird. I don't know what to say about that, other than we really royally screwed over Leonard. And, I don't know, did I mention this last time that apparently the monster shows up in liquid? I think I did. I think we talked about that a little bit, but I can't quite remember. I remember discussing it in the comments on one of the videos, but yeah, apparently the monster shows up through water and ice and blood and juice and all those various liquids. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. 
I remember this one. Um, something interesting. We have not gotten a message from Jessica yet. Which is kind of weird. Like, I went back and I got the radio signal. Because apparently that's where I went wrong and got the wrong ending. I probably should have, re um, recorded some of that. I forgot to, though, so... Skip it over that, sorry about that. But no, there was a piece of paper on the back wall that had like some numbers written on it and one of the numbers was circled in red and it was channel 16. Not much came of that. We just like uh, talked some people, like sent out a mayday. A suspicious tunnel. Yes, very suspicious. Oh, we did kind of see the golden light from this before we just... fell, didn't we? Uh, don't, don't, come on, you got the gloves on, buddy, come on. But yeah, we sent out like a mayday, it was kind of staticky, but it sounded like the people on the receiving end kind of got the message. So, fingers crossed, hope will be coming soon. You know, hopefully nothing else terrible happens to us. So, <laughs> let's see where we are now. We're in the mysterious tunnel, huh? A suspicious tunnel, that's what he said, right? Oh, sure, fuck no. How about no? My god, what the hell? <laughs> Look at them, they're all like, Ooh, come over here, Lennon. We just want to rub your shoulders. No, we do not want any shoulder rubs. Shit, what can we do? Wait, wait, wait. What was this said to do again? It was said to ward off evil, right? We're not getting an option, though. Why are we getting an option? Shit, maybe there's something back here. Nothing? Really? Fuck. Uh. Alright, maybe we can just walk through them? Oh, we can walk through. We cannot walk through. Oh shit, I should have had my light on. Ah! They don't want to give you shoulder rubs. Oh my god. <laughs> It's not funny. It's not funny. He's getting hand molested to death. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leonard. I thought I could have helped you. I keep on murdering him. I'm so sorry. All right, let's um. Shit, did I save at the thing? I don't remember if I went back and saved at the thing. Let me pull this up again, so we can show you guys what I did. All right. So yeah, see. This went to this ending over here called It's All Too Late. I don't know, I've been kind of like off my game today. I don't know what's going on, but uh... Let's see, did you request help via the radio? No, and that's what led to this, and then we did it, and that's what led to that. And hopefully that will be leading us on to chapter 3, as long as we continue this route, I think. Because if we go from here to here to there, to probably over there somewhere. There's so many different routes to take. I'm going to have to like replay so much stuff because... Like, there's just so many different things you could do. Um, alright, so where were we? Um, did you get the gloves? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, I need to load this back up real quicker. Wait, maybe we can just continue on. Yeah, let's continue on from our last save point. Let's, fingers crossed, hope it, like, auto-saved us at the well. It did auto-save us at the well. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so... We need... Um, our flashlight, I think. Will that help? No, it will not. Alright, you guys need a... What the fuck? Uh, okay, just give us a moment. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, apparently I can light this on fire. I don't know... The hand on fire. Let's... Hopefully that works. Unless this isn't what I'm supposed to be using. Maybe I'm supposed to be lighting the mask on fire. Nope, it's the hand. Oh, Joey, will this help us get through the molesting hands? I think it will! Woo! Quick time events out of nowhere. Oh, shit! <laughs> Look at all them hands! Oh, we got to play with them earlier, but I did not expect them to be popping out like that. Holy hell! Go away! <laughs> Woo! Okay, you made it through, Letter. Good for you. You made it past all the molested ghosts. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. 
What the hell? Looks like I made it across in one I piece. knew it had something to do with the hand, but I wasn't thinking to shove it into fire. It was a weird thing to ask us to do. Oh, Joey, do we have a puzzle? Is this a puzzle? Is this a puzzle? This is... Do I use that? Wait, there was something there. Oh, there's a doorknob. Silly us. I thought we had to do something intricate to get in. But no, we just simply have to open the door. There's blood on the ground. That's not a good sign. Oh, something else that I was just thinking about is, um... Oh, shit. Those, um, people in the little, um, hole in the ground back at the caves... Were they supposed to be people being tortured to turn into zombies, or are they, like, I don't know, just people getting ready to be sacrificed? Shit. Oh, they're collecting blood for the... I'm guessing for the monster? The bodies have been hung upside down and cut in many places, allowing the blood to flow freely into the vases. Anything else we can do with them? Corpse is slightly pale and decaying that most of its blood has been drained. Same thing with you. Apparently, the group living on the island don't think twice about killing people when it suits them. Okay, yeah, that's all we need from those two. But... Oh, sweet! We're getting... What's this on the ground? Geometric patterns have been drawn all across the entire floor. A magical square, but I can't see the whole picture from here. You want to climb up on the sarcophagus, maybe? A massive, sturdily constructed rectangular box lies in the center of the room. A mysterious room in a coffin-like box. And what an antique-looking setup. I hope Christopher Lee- what? No. What did you say about Christopher- Oh dear. I don't think it's the best idea to open it, but I guess Leonard does, so... I was just trying to see what he said about Christopher Lee. <laughs> Uh, Rosso's soul. Oh, awesome Dracula looking guy. Jerome. Jerome. We've heard this name. I know we've heard this name. Looks like Jerome got stabbed the fuck out of though. Jerome's shoulders are weakly rising. Oh my god, he's alive! It seems he has been put to sleep with some kind of some sort of what? What's this? Wait, I know this! There are numerous scars on Jerome's back in some kind of pattern. Uh red scars imitate a flower, whatever. Uh, did the people on the island do this? Wait, these scars seem to be much older. Much older, indicating that he might be an escaped cultist, hmm? No, but those are the same markings that were on the door. I recognize, like, the moon-shaped thing, see? And that's the little stick figure in the middle, isn't it? Alright, uh, what's over here behind the curtain, hmm? Mysterious curtain, magical curtain. Hello, Mr. Oz, are you back there? The curtain is swinging slightly, perhaps it caught in a draft. Um, alright, well shoot, we're going to have to end the episode here because we're really running out of time, but I am super curious as to- Does anybody remember who Jerome was? I know we've heard that name somewhere in here before, it's just I don't know who the hell he is. Like, was he one of our students, or- I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure we've heard that name before. So we're going to, um, I guess try to get Jerome out of here. If we can't get anybody else out, let's see if we can get Jerome out. And we're going to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on. If there's some kind of weird ass- Well, there seems to be some kind of weird ass which we're seeing is the blood draining into the vases. Jerome in the mysterious coffin. An altar with what I think was a sacrificial dagger. We didn't get to go look at that, but there was, like, something over there that was reminiscent of a dagger. Now, if I'm- thinking correctly with this, and if he might be like an escaped cultist, and they might be draining the blood, and there's a whole bloody symbol thing drawn around this coffin, and all those ritualistic things, and could this be, like, it seems kind of like a resurrection type of deal. Because, I don't know, like, I used to, when back in middle school and high school, I used to go through all kinds of occult things. I used to watch a bunch of horror movies and stuff. I still watch a bunch of horror movies, but I don't get around to reading as many occult books. But, like, this type of deal, this seems kind of reminiscent of, like, some kind of resurrection thing. Like, this is where you would have the, you know, pretty young maid put out on an altar and 
surrounded by some kind of blood drawing thing and they you know summon the spirit of some dead god and put it into the young lady or something but instead of a young lady we have Jerome over here in his coffin with the scars on his back this just this you know just a guess but this might be what they're doing with Jerome. I don't know. Again, does anybody remember who the hell Jerome is? Because I don't remember him. I just remember the name. So, you know. Okay, but yeah, this is where we're going to end the episode for today. So, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching. <laughs>